Since its launch in late 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has completely transformed our understanding of the universe. But now, something has changed. The most powerful telescope humanity has ever built just captured something so extraordinary, so unexplainable, that leading scientists are calling it a crisis in physics. From impossible galaxies to signs of life beyond Earth, James Webb's latest discoveries have shattered the limits of known science. What if everything we thought we understood about the birth of the universe was wrong? Stay with us, because what you're about to see will change the way you look at the night sky forever. It all started with a whisper in the cosmos, faint signals from galaxies that defied all conventional understanding. In July 2023, a team of astrophysicists analyzing deep field data from Webb identified three peculiar galaxies. These galaxies were unlike anything seen before. The light they emitted didn't match what we expect from typical star formation. Instead, it hinted at the existence of something entirely new, dark stars. These theoretical objects, powered not by nuclear fusion but by dark matter, could have formed in the early universe, growing to unimaginable sizes. Scientists now believe these dark stars might be the missing puzzle piece behind the abundance of black holes throughout the cosmos. And here's the terrifying part. Dark matter makes up 85% of the universe, yet we still don't understand it. If dark stars are real, they could rewrite the entire story of stellar evolution. But Webb was only getting started. Webb then turned its gaze toward a distant world named GJ1214b, a super-Earth orbiting a red dwarf 40 light-years away. Initially dismissed as too hot and cloud-covered to study, Webb's infrared instruments pierced through the thick atmosphere. What they found stunned researchers. The planet not only had enormous clouds of water vapor, but regions of it were surprisingly habitable. Even more shocking was the discovery of methane, a compound often linked to biological activity. Some scientists now believe GJ1214b could be a water world, a planet entirely covered in oceans. Could life exist in such an alien environment? We may be closer to answering that question than ever before, because the James Webb Telescope has begun revealing something unprecedented, worlds that mirror our own in temperature, composition, and possibly life. When we think of smoke, we think of earth, fires, industry, or combustion. But what if I told you Webb just discovered smoke signals from 12 billion years ago? That's right. While observing a galaxy at the far edge of the observable universe, James Webb detected polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, organic molecules found in smoke and also critical to life on Earth. These molecules were located in a galaxy so distant that their light has taken over 12 billion years to reach us. Webb was only able to detect them thanks to the phenomenon of gravitational lensing, which magnified the galaxy's light. The implications are profound. If building blocks of life like these existed long before Earth was even formed, then life may not just be possible, it may be inevitable across the universe. But Webb's revelations were about to grow even stranger. One of Webb's greatest feats was recreating what once took Hubble 11 days, in less than 24 hours. But what it revealed wasn't just beautiful, it was disturbing. Webb's ultra-deep field showed galaxies so old, dense, and well-formed that their existence threatens the very foundations of cosmology. These galaxies shouldn't be there. According to our current models, it should take billions of years for galaxies to reach that level of maturity. But there they are, massive galaxies with supermassive black holes, existing less than 600 million years after the Big Bang. Some of the black holes are 1,000 times more massive than the one in the center of our own Milky Way. It's as if the universe fast-forwarded through evolution. Joel Leja, an astronomer from Penn State, confessed, This is the most puzzling and intriguing collection of objects I've ever seen in my career. If our models can't explain these ancient giants, then maybe we've misunderstood the universe's beginning entirely. Among Webb's breathtaking images lies one that sent a ripple of unease through the scientific community. It's a nearly symmetrical spiral galaxy, so perfect, so balanced in shape and color, that it appears manufactured. 
But what shocked experts wasn't just the beauty of the image. It was the unexpected duplication of its spectral signature. In short, Webb was capturing what seemed like a perfect mirror version of the same galaxy, slightly displaced in time and space. While gravitational lensing can create visual distortions, this was different. Both versions showed synchronized energy fluctuations, identical redshifts, and even matching movement in star clusters, like an echo of cosmic architecture. Some theorists now entertain the unthinkable. Are we witnessing an artifact of a multiverse? Could there be overlapping realities stitched into the fabric of space-time, only visible through instruments as precise as Webb? If so, the telescope may not only be a window into the distant past, but into parallel versions of our own existence. Webb's sensors, while primarily focused on the infrared spectrum, can also detect subtle frequency vibrations, essentially the sound signatures of space. In early 2024, while monitoring a dying star in the Carina Nebula, Webb captured a rhythmic, low-frequency pattern unlike any other stellar collapse. When converted into audible sound waves, the frequency resembled a repeating pulse, spaced with eerie precision. Astrophysicists expected chaotic, irregular patterns typical of dying stars, but this one was eerily ordered. Some compared it to a heartbeat, others to a coded transmission. The star had entered its death throes and seemed to be signaling as it faded into a black hole. Whether this is a naturally occurring cosmic rhythm or something more, deliberate remains open to speculation. But the fact that a dying star might leave behind not just light, but a song, raises unsettling questions. Could the universe be trying to communicate through its death? The data from Webb is too vast, too complex for humans alone to analyze. That's why, for the first time, NASA integrated a machine learning model built to interpret Webb's raw telemetry. The AY, trained on patterns of known cosmic phenomena, was tasked with identifying anomalies. It did more than that. After days of silent number crunching, the model flagged a data stream not once, but three times. It showed a spatial region devoid of galaxies, stars, or dust, what astronomers call a void. But within this void, the AI detected an oscillation pattern that didn't match any known artifact or error. When visualized, it formed a rotational spiral, not of matter, but of gravitational distortion. And here's where it gets chilling. The same pattern had appeared briefly in early Hubble data, but was dismissed as noise. Webb had confirmed it. Whatever this is, it moves, it pulses, and it bends reality around it like a lens. The AI refused to classify it. In its report, it used a single label, Unknown Entity. Webb's last revelation may be its most mind-bending. While mapping distant galaxies in a sector near the constellation Fornax, astronomers noticed a temporal distortion, a phenomenon where redshift data from galaxies in the same region appeared to move backward in time. That's not just odd, it's impossible under the standard model of cosmology. The redshift should increase with distance, representing older light. But in this pocket of space, galaxies seem to reverse age, their light signatures growing younger the farther out they are. The implications? Either our entire understanding of space-time is flawed, or there's an error in the cosmic fabric, like a scratch on a record that replays the same note out of order. Some physicists call it a time-fold. Others believe it could be evidence of a simulation glitch. One thing is certain, James Webb may have just proven that time is not as linear or reliable as we once believed. And in doing so, it has left scientists staring not at answers, but at a void of questions too big to comprehend. So here we are, on the edge of understanding, staring into a cosmos that no longer obeys the rules we once trusted. The James Webb Space Telescope was meant to confirm our theories, to clarify the origins of the universe, to shed light on the unknown. Instead, it has torn apart the script of modern science. From dark stars born in the shadows of creation, to galaxies that grew too fast, from echoes of parallel realities to the final heartbeat of dying suns, Webb isn't just revealing the universe, it's redefining it. And as if that weren't enough, artificial intelligence has now joined the quest, flagging anomalies we can't explain, patterns we can't classify, and gravitational ghosts that haunt the dark between galaxies. 
The telescope was built to see farther than we've ever seen, but what it found may be farther than we're ready to believe. If the past few months have taught us anything, it's that space is not silent, not simple, and certainly not solved. What we once called laws may now be guidelines. What we thought was the beginning may only be a checkpoint. And the scariest part? We're just scratching the surface. Because if this is what James Webb has discovered in its first steps into the unknown, what comes next could truly break reality. So, what do you think? Has the telescope truly broken science, or has it finally set it free? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay on this journey across the edge of the universe. Because the next signal might just rewrite your world.